Hey, everybody, Cathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die Afterlife. It's episode number eight. It's still midday, uh, but we just came back from a really nice score that has set us up in a number of ways. Uh, I picked up some books along the way. I picked up a bunch of different food products along the way. Uh, we're going to eat some of that now as we are starving. So we're going to have some cat food. Yum, yum. Uh, we're going to eat one can of pears. I think I'll store the other one away. Again, there are recipes that I don't know what's what. Uh, we'll put that chicken ration away, too. I know that one definitely makes some food. Uh, but we've got a pure mineral water, which is a huge score for us uh, that I'll store away for later, as I'm not doing too bad on water. Uh, but that sham chowder. Hold on, hold on. I want the sham chowder. And that's going to take care of our food needs for a while. Uh, I've got sturdy infected water that I need to get cleaned up. So this, this is our first task of the day. There's uh, some plants. There are some plants. We've got six minutes till that water is going to be done. So we've got two regular waters there with two campfires going. We're definitely getting a lot more done. In fact, there's three waters. And I just noticed that that one has nothing active. So let's go ahead and cancel this guy out. And we'll get them shifted over to here. All right, now, while those projects are finishing, uh, let's get into our short-term list of things we need to do. First off, I have two perk points, and I'm going to take the next level in Decorator, giving us a healthy vitality boost here at the base. No zombies in the area currently, and suddenly our vitality chain is over 1% per minute. That is a huge vitality buff. The ambient minus 0.4. Right now we are nourished. That's We're, we're gaining 0.21. That's the first time I've taken a vitamin. It's not a huge boost. It's a temporary boost. But look at that. 1.2% vitality per minute for decor. That's what's given us that nice, strong, positive one. Uh, the champ chowder is keeping us healthy. We've got a stamina boost. And we've got a little bit of rest in us right now. So the big score last time out uh, is, one, we got a cooking book. Uh, I can now take five literature fragments. We're going to use our research desk to make a forge ahead. It's going to take one minute to complete. That's not long at all. Oh, wait, 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 cancel. That's not what I came for. Hold, hold, hold that thought. We're making a cookbook. <laughs> Almost forgot. As much as I need those forge aheads, right now I need the cookbook so we can start making some food, more accessible food. Uh, unfortunately, though, we're not going to be able to make much initially, but we're going to grab tank white meat. We're going to get a couple chicken breasts cooked up on the grill the biggest obstacle to a to a map is blueberries and blue paste i've already got 10 blue paste I need to get to 20 to make the map now it's not the only thing there are other needs for that and for that we're gonna get started uh we're gonna go here and there is that blue paste, that necessary blue paste. We're going to get 10 of it, which is going to give us that 20. And that's using one of the infected waters that we have. But that that was the huge step. We need to now figure out what else we need. So blue paste is going to soon have 20. Green paste already has 20. Uh, we have 10 black paste. We're going to go into the discovery mode of what else, what else is it going to take. All right, well, I already know I need 10 more black. That's charcoal powder. We have charcoal powder. Okay, we don't have the white. That's cotton. I need four cotton because we need to make it twice. Amazingly, I only have one cotton on me. That's a super easy fix, though. We'll be back in just a second. There's the white cotton. More white cotton. There's additional white cotton. And collect this golden rod while I'm at it and have fun. 
with this guy. Alright, we need two for that one. Red is the other one that we're going to need. What do we need for the red? Chrysanthemum. We need four chrysanthemum, which I think we already have. And we most definitely do. One, two, three, four. Rest away. Get that away. Get that cotton away. Do I have... Oh, I have two more jars. Last thing we need is 200 paper, which we do have just about enough. Good thing I've been collecting that paper. And there it is, a survivalist map. Ready in a minute. Home cooking weekly. Use. Unlocked white meat. There she is, white meat. 10 seconds. Some proper food getting made. Food that I can take with me. We are not yet starving. Ha ha ha. water is ready to go. And there's that white meat. I think I can actually shut this thing off for a second. Uh, I think realistically though, the smart thing would be to go take these empty jars and get a few more water on the go. The infection rages on. No sign of honey or anything along that line to help keep me alive. It looks like we're definitely gonna have to just suck it up and die this first time. Oh, bunny. Whoa. And you gotta dodge fast. That's gonna take four and a half minutes. Okay, short term, I think one of the other things we're gonna need is we need to get some more resin so we can make some more pitch. Uh, I, I'd like to get the uh, the water buckets. Let's see, tools? Yeah, uh, the wooden buckets made. Get one into each of the campfires. Uh, so we're gonna need some wood. That's easy. I have. I have the logs. Uh, scrap metal though, I, I have 200, no problem. Uh, I should also have one for me to... Uh, do I have one already? I have... No, I've not been making... Yeah, everything I've done is wooden so far, so... Okay. Um, so we're gonna need at least a few. Yes, yeah, so we need resin. Anyway, the other thing, the other part of our score... And there's our map. There's our map. We'll t deal with that in just a second. A scrap spear. We now have an upgraded spear, and we're gonna immediately shift it over. Uh, you, you can see how we're looking at a significantly upgraded weapon here. Four and a half melee damage on a regular hit, six and a half on a power attack. Uh, stamina cost is lower, lower stamina cost. Uh, now, repair wise though, it's pitch. So we are probably gonna wanna start carrying some pitch around on us, a, a small amount because both the Pipeton and the Spear are going to be utilizing that one. But as we look over to our character and add a survivalist map, poof, we have a map. And there it is, it's not even at all populated yet. The world is empty, but we will start painting as we uh, explore the world. And I have a few zombies in the area, I should probably clear them out. I should try out our Spear as well. And with clubs and spears at about level 10 each, and I see the deer, probably what brought these guys into the area. And back to that extra range. I'd love it if we could get a shiv made in the near future. We're starting to level up the tools and the skills. We've reached that day one skill level. And they're starting to, you know, inch beyond that. And um, we're going to hit this tree up for some resin. And if you stand in just the right spot, we can collect the resin and still get the rest bonus. The one zombie just wandered outside of the zone. All right, that first couple of pitch is ready. So I'm just going to take it with me. And off we go out into the universe once again. We've got some food and water. We've got a couple pitch for repairs. I'm feeling so good about where we're at, how we're doing at this moment. We have a map that's just starting to populate uh, the area around us. And reading a map's gonna be important as a skill, but that shouldn't be a problem. I taught land navigation when I was in the army. I think I can handle a map uh, without getting lost too much here uh, or 
virtually at all. Uh, you just gotta refer to your map. It's knowing your bearings, knowing your direction, and speaking of knowing, that sun is gonna set here real soon. So we don't have very long to get back out and do any looting. Is there anything close? The cop, the, the police station is really close. Uh, there is that second house across the street over there, which is a much safer bet. Uh, or we could take the surface area of the, the graveyard. That's probably our safest bet at this moment in time. Uh, yeah, it's very close. It's right there. Cars are not lootable, but there is a garbage can right there. Probably haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Oh, of course it starts to rain. We're going to get wet. Well, too late to fight that now. It's going to make telling night. Stamina's really good. I can make a run back to the house quickly if I need to. I would love to search some caskets. No, uh, the loot's probably not going to be good with my loot stage being so low, so I'm not going to dig these guys out. I'd like, very, very, very much like to find a couple of those mushrooms. It is far too late, though, to deal with this infection and try to knock it down. I think we're just going to have to accept defeat on that and accept the fact that we are going to die. Still not running. And look at that sun. We've got a little bit of time left. So that's about all. Still not sprinting. Okay. Ah, there's more than one, though. More than two? She never even swung at me. Ah, uh, that this is a problem. This looks like a horde and they might suddenly be sprinting and I'll be in trouble. And this guy's full sprint now, but the others are not. Just the two young ones. Ah! All clear. <laughs> All clear. Sure. Wow, it is a horror. It is a horror. There's a lot of them. Still got some sunlight, just long shadows. Alright, got them all down. smell the food, so crouching is not doing much for me at the moment. They fell down. Thank you. Uh, looking dark. And he's looking like he's running, isn't he? I think we've reached night. Club in level 12. Three zombies in the area. Not a fan of that count. Looking in the grass, though, for these guys. Where are the tools? Push this guy off. There we go. He's dead. We got one freaking mushroom. Still two zombies in the area. Taking a risk here, but I very much want where they both are. Just one now. That was a one shot. There we go. All clear. Blurred vision making this harder. No. No mushrooms. Let's not get ourselves killed. Got one. We got one. So I've decided that pipe SMG that I have is just too rapid fire, too dangerous to use as we have very, very limited am ammunition. We've been collecting for four days, five days. We have eight rounds uh, and I had three and used them in one quick pull of the trigger just as I was scanning across the bar. 
I'm gonna craft a pipe rifle. It's gonna get a couple repair uses out of it before it goes bad. It's only gonna cost me four short iron pipes, which is cheap. Two glue, not as cheap, but glue's not as hard to find, uh, and the wood's no problem either. I actually kind of prefer uh, the rifle anyway. To be honest with you, I, I know the rifle's not good in many scenarios, but there are scenarios where it's very handy. And as that sun is going to rise, I'm going to go ahead and prepare myself by having some breakfast. I was starving. This will take care of that, at least short term, uh, with no issues here either. We can uh, have a couple sham sandwiches. I do have a couple lock picks, and I still have this un unlocked, uh, or still as of locked, reinforced chest. But I'm going to actually just beat up on it a little bit. It's almost morning anyway. It's going to be a little bit of development with my uh, pickaxe, and we'll just break into it eventually. Uh, the three zombies has grown to seven, though, as we go to hit Dawn. But now that I'm hitting this, they're all hitting the base of the structure here, so we definitely picked up some attention. Not quite done, I don't think. At least not for a moment here. Uh, yeah, he's definitely still running. That's pretty exciting. Oh, well, there you go. This guy's down to walk him. Apparently, it's morning now. That's way too active. for breakfast. Of course, the breakfast that we ate wasn't very filling, so doing all of this is going to burn some energy. And... Whoa. Oh, the color's getting much worse. It's getting a lot harder to see. I must be over 90% now. Eighty-nine point six. No, not yet. We are clear. There's somebody out here at the road. We'll uh... ah, shoot. That was a biker. Oh, come on! Man, he hits hard. Has some reach. Has a ton of hit points. to get him knocked over. It still doesn't kill him. There we go. Should have been all clear up here. Let's take those candles back with us. I can replace the uh, torch. Not a fan of the torch. Heat doesn't work the same way in this, by the way. But that's going to give us pretty plenty of light around the base. There's how bad that vision is, because I basically walked right up on him with him asleep and could have seen him from further away and put an arrow in his head, but destruction worker. shot. Alright, we're close enough. Nope, they're, they're gone anyway. Passing gas. Not much of a 
crate, but we can get a handy land out of it. Leather trunk. I think we can take that leather trunk back with us. Broken stiff crate. Probably a little bit better option. Tools digest. I've already read that hunter's journal, so we'll scrap that. Read the handy land and the tools digest. Oh, loot's reset in this place, so we get a forge ahead. And that should mean all of this other stuff is searchable again, and it is, but that means the zombies will have reset as well. But this place nearest home becomes a very easy loot target for us. Uh, but I've also already uh, managed to be pretty full here. I picked up another pipe baton, so that's definitely handy. Uh, we'll, we'll hang on to that because there's a good chance that uh, we'll need it at some point. Already got a 4x scope here. We have another 4x scope mod, so actually that SMG can now carry. So venturing back into this place to reloot. Yeah. Finding anything though. so easy to get back it's so easy to get back we're, we're I think we're gonna upgrade our bed oh. wow. helps if you hit the target our bed okay yeah, all set uh, we're gonna drop the bed roll can I scrap this guy I can oh nice but that's a nighttime thing I don't want to be holding that stuff all this time so we'll cancel that we'll put it away we'll scrap it during the night Got eight acid now. Okay, well, with a cheesed bed. <laughs> is there a sun somewhere? <laughs> there it is. Man, packs a punch. Even while wailing away on him, he still manages to uh, ignore. And whack the crap out of you. It'd be nice if I was getting five meat per chicken so that we could actually make one chicken breast from one chicken, but we seem to be collecting four these days. Until that level gets a little bit higher anyway. Level 10 we should be at that point. Uh, but we're gonna die very, very soon. Yeah, the colors are so bad now, it's really hard to see where something like a simple chicken has gone. What is it? What is it? 92%! Take the leveling up bonus. Ooh, we can get a lot of cloth and wood from beating up on the bed, so we'll do that here. Bedroom, uh, closet. Oh, she almost got a hit in it. Clubbing 13, lucky number 13. Forge Ahead is currently level 6. I need to get to level 10 to make a forge. We have four more levels. That could be, uh, 20. Oh, of course, it gives me a pipe rifle now. Uh, let's go ahead and scrap it. Look at the materials that we had out of the last one. Yeah, the quality is only 513. It's not anything special. I do want to read that handgun magazine, though. 20 liter literature fragments would be enough to uh, get us there. Obviously, that's not kind of the combination I'm looking at. I'm not going to scrap 20 things between now and then. But if we could scrap 5 to 10 uh, and find a couple... Then we could use it to you know, bridge the gap. Ooh, cash in the couch cushions. <laughs> oh, funny, 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 funny. Or the pig outside. 
Gotta watch out for that boar. Those tusks hurt. Woke up at least in one. There's another. Two crawlers. Should be gone in one more hit. There he is. Still nobody coming in the sneaking in the front door. Get that stamina recover. Here comes that other crawler. Two hits. Three hits. Wait for the fourth. Oh, that didn't kill him. One of those was not a headshot. Oh, buddy. Where the hell did you come from? <laughs> I heard something, I looked around and I couldn't see him. Because, you know, 93 and a half percent. Ay ay ay. Body on the floor looks like the dead variety. We're gonna take all the extra paper. I think we're gonna be making an early trip back to the base as soon as we're done here because, uh, the vision is so bad. At 95%, it's almost impossible to see anything, and we're just going to have to suck it up and uh, stay at base until we die. Fingers crossed that it is, in fact, a 12 and not 14. Now that we have the map, so the, the other things that we still need, right, the compass and the watch, I think what those are going to come down to is there's a schematic We'll have to find the schematic. I think it's a loot level type thing. Um, eventually we'll get it, but I'm guessing it's got a higher loot stage than where we're at right now, and that's why we're still waiting on it. Perk point! Love to see that. We are a bit overloaded, but we're also nearly done with this place. Water? Water! Speaking of, let's drink one. We need a little bit of energy. We need to be able to finish this place off, but you know, after that, a slow starvation death is not a problem when you're gonna die of the Z virus anyway. Oh nice. Three lockpicks. Regular thing to carry in your purse. Hole goes down and around and there's wood, which is nice, but no, we're we're already a little full. Yeah, now at 94.4, we're gonna die pretty soon. Well, waiting to die. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. For one, I, I've got a good amount of pitch. I'm gonna work on making those wooden buckets. I'm gonna work on, when the rain stops, going and getting some dirty water so we can get more water made up. I have four at the moment though, so I've got a good amount there. Uh, and all I need to do is, you know, keep myself alive, not die until I die of the infection. If you die while infected, the infection is unchanged. It does not go away. So you can't just die and get it over with. You have to wait for that 100% to hit or stop it from hitting. We're too far, far along. We don't have those means, so I'm just going to let it happen, as I've stated before. Uh, but that's why. I'm letting it happen. Why I'm not just offing myself in the process or anything along those lines. We don't have a choice. Uh, but three wooden buckets and getting some more water is uh, on the cards. I've got enough wood. I, I've got plenty of scrap metal. I now have plant fiber. So yeah, we can, we can get these made up. So that's three buckets that are going to be on the go. One for each of the two campfires and one to use for making mortar. So right now, to upgrade this guy, or to craft this wood, right, I use wood and one pitch. Uh, if I want to do cobble, I'm going to use the small stones and mortar. We can make primitive mortar uh, pretty easily, and that's going to give you something a lot more useful. It's getting pretty late in the day, and the rain has stopped. realized I had one bucket in one of them. I now have a frying pan as well in one of the, uh, in the second. They both have the bucket, uh, so I actually have two. That's still good for making mortar. Uh, easier way, you could make twice as much. 
a little bit faster on. Uh, all we're missing is the beaker and another frying pan for the other. Doing good on that part. So my new process is adding a fourth step to the production. Luckily, the fourth step doesn't take long at all. But we're taking regular water and converting it to goldenrod tea. Now with the goldenrod tea, water's 20. It's the same as what you get with regular water. Uh, but the difference here is the food poisoning reduction at 24% means that we can take shams a lot more regularly and not have to sit on it for a while and, you know, starve. But that sun is definitely about to set. I don't think I have a perk point. Oh, I do have a perk point right now. And we're finally going to be able to put it into something else. I think the first thing I'd like to do is raise our root level, our loot level uh, by 7.5%. So even though I will die soon, uh, coming up on that 96%, uh, so probably before morning I'll be dead, but with a still positive vitality unaffected by the virus, uh, we are up to 18 bonus health points, and, and that's definitely helpful on to keep us alive out there. It's, it's been a good while since I have died. Uh, is it not? I've died yeah, still just the twice. And we were at about 130 kills when that happened. We're up to 364 now. And game stage is up to 23 too. So this next horde night is going to be a little more uh, adventuresome. I'm going to try to fight a bit more during the night with arrows, that is. Not, not down on the ground. Uh, and by the next Horde night, I would definitely like to set up some sort of primitive defensive base uh, that we could use to, you know, fight off the zombies in, in a slightly cheese way because obviously we're still really weak. I mean, we finally broke level one, but we're about to die and lose some of those levels. So, you know, look at those skills. Athletics? That's not level one. We're still... We have a little extra run speed, but stamina regen, jump strength are all still negative. Healing I haven't even gotten into. I've just used basic bandages. I can craft better bandages. I, I will start to shift over to that uh, very soon, but I haven't bled in a long time. Uh, construction, yeah, we suck at that. Lock picking is really poor. Scavenging, level 10. No effects yet. That's the equivalent, level 1. We have level one scavenging. We're about to lose a level and drop a world that again though. Uh, stealth, not quite level nine. Butchering, only seven, not quite eight. We're gonna lose a level or close to a level on that one. Gathering, logging, all of these are about to drop a level and they're not yet at that base level. Combat, good thing is it will drop two. It's gonna lose like 1.2 levels. Clubbing's gonna lose 1.3. And finally does have that slight positive better than level one stuff. Uh, Fisticuffs isn't even one level, it's close. Nice, not yet two levels. Spears right at one level. It's going to drop down to a nine. Pickaxes and axes are both going to lose a little bit. Archery is up to a six. So it's, yeah, across the board we're still just barely hitting day one level one. Uh, definitely not even on average. And we're about to take 10% of that away. The part that makes it worse, though, is we're going to lose a level in workstations and construction tools. And our one level in clubs is going to drop back down to zero. Medical at 10. It's going to drop back down to nine. The attributes, they're going to take that hit, too. I'm going to lose 1.7 levels in strength or probably just two levels. I would imagine it's just going to round up, right? I don't know quite how that works. Uh, Fortitude, 1.3. Finesse, 1.3. At least they're all above 10 now. Intellect, almost a level dead, but it's going to drop down a level. Perception, closing up on 13. And agility, still at 8. Average those six out, and we're right about... 10 levels in, or basically one level of all of those. I may have to eat something before I die. I am, I have got 13 water left, so it's only slowly coming down. It's the starvation that's hitting my health. Uh, but 87 health, I just gotta make sure that does not hit zero. 
prior uh, to the infection, which is already 96 and a third. So it's, it's coming up pretty too quick right now. Uh, but not that fast because the vitality bonus that I have, right, that vitality bonus is slowing the infection rate by 8%. Definitely another good reason to have a really good vitality bonus because you can drastically slow down or you can drastically increase. You know, you can have it go up by 10% or down by 10% or be neutral. So a 20% swing on bad vitality versus good vitality is gonna take almost a quarter, or you know, officially a fifth, of the infection rate. It's been day for quite some time, but you wouldn't know it because our vision is almost completely gone. I'm on the verge of starving to death, so we are going to at least drink a little bit of water. Uh, it was the water that was causing the biggest problem. I ate one sham sandwich a little bit ago to stave off the inevitable death, but we're, we're still in that spiral for the most part. I might even have to squeeze in one more sham sandwich to stop it. No, health is rising a little bit right now. That, that should keep me alive just long enough to, you know, die. <laughs> um definitely not early early morning either I would assume that's the Sun that giant blot in the sky uh, would be the Sun so it's still pretty early in the day I'd actually like to do something but you can't really see and it's it's probably way too dangerous and if the health was higher I'd feel more inclined to go out there uh, because I unlocked and I'll lose it too once I die but I unlocked the training dummy. You just need plant fibers and wood. And we have plenty of wood. Uh, in fact, I have in here. Yeah, there you go. 84 more wood and scrap wood. Um, that has been made ready for us. But we'll put half of that away. Actually, we'll put more than half, of, half of that away. But the death, it's coming very soon. 99.44% right now. So we're drawing real, real close to it. In the meantime, I've at least managed to get the vitality up over 75%. So a half bonus, right? Quarter, uh, 25 points of what could be a maximum of 50 extra health points. You know, the higher your level gets, the less important that becomes. That plus 50, minus 50. Same time, but at the same time, the extra stamina and the speed camera regeneration speed and whatnot all make a huge difference but more and more we've been slowing the z virus infection rate and so it's just it's taking a while taking a while uh I'm so happy that we finally got to level 11 loot stage uh, we were starting to get some better gear but that's about to drop a little bit but not too bad right 10 won't be that bad death number three the inevitable death uh, will still keep us better than a hundred to one rate which is kind of what i'm looking to achieve and so we're doing pretty all right for ourselves well i do hate that we're losing half a day to this virus uh yeah and the final stage of it i'm currently creeping around just to get a little more <laughs> a little more strength and stealth that we're gonna obviously turn around and lose at a moment, which is kind of why I'm choosing to do this, and at least it's something to do while waiting. I know we've got to be above that 99.5 by now, so it's it's going to be just a matter of a couple of minutes, and uh, we'll drop. And there it is. We have dropped dead. come back with we have turned I can see once again bag's still available no problem there we can go out and clear things and we would be able to resume activities now at this point there's that Sun and it's nice to have everything clear once again uh, but we're just gonna get quick confirmation of strength down to 15 fortitude down to 11 finesse down to 11 intellect drops a level to 8 perception drops to 10 almost 11 it was a 12 so it did drop just a little bit more than that agility drops a level uh, skills athletics a five lock picking we have a plus one somehow um, butchering gathering are all sixes logging's a four now 
Clubbing has dropped two levels to an 11 from a 13. Combat has dropped back down to a 10. Spears down to an 8 from a 10. So we lost more than a full level there. Interesting that it didn't stay a 9. Archery is a 5. All right, folks. Well, that... Now that that's done, now that we're back to healthy, we're ready to get back out into the world uh, with a little more than half a day ahead of us. And it's either day 13 or 14, so we've got a horde night coming. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode. I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Like comment, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.